of the human brain is something called the or complex which is uh, the reptilian brain which is our very very early ancestral brain and it's 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 uniquely it's it's a very important part of our brain but it's not what makes us human it's the part of our brain that's obsessed uh, con- obsessed with things like control survival sexual reproduction passing on our dna and uh, kill or be killed uh, hunting that's that's the that's the or complex in our brain. On top of that, we have the the frontal and the frontal and upper cortexes of the brain, and particularly this, the the frontal cortex, which is the the mo- the modern part of our brain, the most recent part of our evolutionary brain. And this is where everything that makes us human: creativity, emotions, dreaming, uh, cognitive processing, uh, imagining abstractive concepts. That they all exist in uh, in the in the in the frontal cortex. And it's like the the psychopath doesn't go in there. The psychopath almost lives exclusively within the reptilian or complex part of their brain. And there's also a theory that the reason the human ego was created was to act as almost like a feedback loop between these two parts of the brain. So, one, you know, a reptilian brain doesn't try to attack our frontal cortex in, in order to restore us back to a more predatory and less human, less sort of like modern state. And there's more and more... I wouldn't say evidence, but there's definitely a lot of information coming forward that has me and others thinking now that the actual psychopaths are trapped to a, an extreme degree with inside their reptilian brain, and hence why they have this predatory consciousness, hence why they're in a constant state of survival and trying to survive. And like you said earlier on, survival of the fittest. They haven't, their consciousness has not migrated to the frontal cortex to become the sort of more complete human being in the modern sense that the rest of us are.